Hey everyone, it's the Plum Dot here and welcome back to my channel for another build video. Now I am particularly excited to be sharing this one with you guys and it is a doozy. So grab some snacks, grab your coffee. I've got my coffee right here. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> sip, sip. But anyway, this is Connor's farmhouse and I built this quite some time ago. I think I finished it and put it up on the Sims 3 exchange last month in the beginning of the month at some point. So I just haven't gotten around to doing a voiceover, but I'm doing it now and I'm so excited to watch this footage back because I really love how this turned out. And I know I say it every single flipping time, but this farmhouse is very very special because I built Connor's farmhouse for Girl Meets Pixels Pets and Generations LP. Now if you guys don't know who Girl Meets Pixels is, she is a fabulous YouTuber. She also does switch Twitch streams and she creates homes, sims, and she is an amazing, an amazing decorator. She is such an inspiration when it comes to decorating. So, Connor's farmhouse is actually unfurnished and Girl Meets Pixels is going to decorate it and put her own little spin on it. And I can't wait to see what she does with this home because again, the girls' decorating skills are on point. So how this all came about is I was watching an episode of Pets and Generations and at the moment her family is living in Storybrooke County in a really small what I might liken to a double wide trailer and there is Ryland and Evelyn. They have two children. I believe they have two cats and they also have a dog. So they are really squeezing themselves into this tiny, tiny home that they're living in at the moment. And Girl Meets Pixels was like, they're gonna have to move at some point. We're gonna have to get them a bigger home. So I offered to build their forever home for them. And she said, go for it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And this is kind of funny, but it's also kind of sad. Girlmates Pixels said, right, this is what I need. I need so many bedrooms. I need so many bathrooms, space for all the animals, all the kids. And I also need a space for Ryland's sort of pet, a pet area. Because Ryland has the lifetime wish of becoming the Ark Builder. And I believe you have to have two horses, two dogs, two cats, two snakes, two birds, and there may be two other type of animals that Ryland needs to complete his lifetime wish. Um, guess what I forgot in this build? That's right, I forgot to put in or specify where a pet room would be. But I will say that this house is big enough that I'm sure Girlmates Pixels could find a spot where it could go. But honestly, I had one flipping job and I forgot about it. She gave me free reign and everything else. She specified this one thing and I derped. I had a derp merp meat mop moment and yeah I was kind of embarrassed when I sent her the file and I was like here you go <laughs> but I'm sure she can figure it out because she is a whiz. So let me tell you a little bit about Connor's farmhouse and if you download it what you might find in it. There are four bathroom four bathrooms four bedrooms three and a half bathrooms in the main portion of the house and then in the barn there is also a shower room because I had this thought that maybe after you're finished mucking out your horses, you might want to take a shower. And I know that's probably not something that goes through a Sims mind, but as a builder, that was something that went through my ha my mind. And also on the property, you will find sort of a detached one truck garage, but there are two parking spaces. So you can have one on the inside of the garage and one on the outside of the garage. And then I believe in total, in all of the buildings, there's four bedrooms and there's five and a half bathrooms. And then Evelyn is in the daycare career. So on the left side of the house, as you're looking at it right now, um, and it's separated from the house by a little breezeway, I put in a space for Evelyn to have her daycare area. So it's like an at-home daycare, but there's a specific space for it. And once we get to the end, at the screenshots, you'll be able to see, I've labeled everything on the overhead, so you'll be able to see how I wanted to lay out this house. But again, Girlmates Pixels is totally free to change anything she wants. She could add a pet, a pet room somewhere if she likes, because again, derp. <laughs> but I know whatever she does is just going to be brilliant. So the shape of the property has really come together. It's pretty much done. We've got the main house, we've got the barn, we've got the 
detached garage and I'm just going through and changing things up a little bit. Now I will say that a lot of things changed on this home. For instance, I don't know if you guys can recall, but in the front, the main portion where you enter the house is currently stone. I don't think I've changed that yet. I may have done, um, but I do change it. So it is this modern farmhouse. I was doing a lot of looking on Pinterest when I was trying to decide the type of home that I wanted to build for this family. And the modern farmhouses kind of stuck out to me and they're very much neutral and they've got this black and white color scheme. And I've never really built a house like that. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna do completely black and white. So no, I haven't changed the stone on the front at the moment, but that will change and most of the house is going to be this white siding that came with pets and then you're gonna have the stone accents which I darken up a little bit so we can get more of that neutral tone coming through so my favorite parts of this build is actually the backyard I really love how the backyard turned out I just think it is beautiful because in the back we've got this two-tiered deck that you guys are gonna be seeing really shortly and then there is also a hot tub area that I put in and then if you go further down the stairs you're gonna see a playground for the kids so there is plenty of space for all these children that Evelyn and Rylan want to have because Evelyn's lifetime wish is actually surrounded by family so she needs to raise five children from babies to teenagers in order to complete her lifetime wish. And I think there's plenty of room for the entire family on this property. Now, when I first started building Connor's farmhouse, I was trying to squeeze all of this onto a 40 by 40 lot because I've never built a house on a 50 by 50 lot. And I was like, that is so much space. Like how am I going to how am I going to fill up all of this space and put everything that I need to have on this property? And I was trying to convince myself for a good while, probably days that it was going to fit on a 40 by 40 lot. I don't know how many times I built Connor's farmhouse on a 40 by 40 lot, but it was a lot. And then finally, I gave it up and I sent uh, girl meets pixels a message and I was like hey would you mind if I put this on a 50 by 50 lot because at the moment we're looking pretty cramped here and I don't want your family to feel cramped like they are in their current space their current living space and she was completely fine with it like honestly she's the most laid-back person ever and she was like just do what you need to do and it's completely fine and I'm sure I will love what you come up with so I really hope that she loves playing in this house and and decorating it which again super stoked to see what she does with it so we're working on the barn here at the moment and it is a two-story barn uh, with an opening to below so you can kind of look down on the horses if you want to now it is unfurnished but the outside areas are partially furnished because I got a little bit carried away I was like oh I'll just put this sofa down here I'll just put this dog bed down here this would look cute as a barbecue area and I kind of went off a little bit so I've taken care of those areas for girl mates pixels so she doesn't have to do it but again if she wants to change them that is completely fine and also if you guys des decide to download Connor's farmhouse I would love 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 to see what you guys do with it all my socials are down below in the description so I would love if you guys tagged me on Twitter or on tumblr I think it would be fantastic to see what you do so here we are back in I was gonna say back in the front but we're working on the garage at the moment and you can see there's two areas that lead from the barn for the horses to get out of now I did play test everything I didn't upgrade anything in the house like I normally would but everything is play tested except I didn't put any pets on this particular lot. So at the moment, we're looking at the transition from the terrain paint and me manipulating the terrain because that was another thing that took so long. I'm pretty sure I messed around with the terrain for this home for probably a day and a half. And I didn't film any of it because I knew it was gonna take so long. And I don't know if you guys remember the carriage house, but that was when I kind of rediscovered terrain paints. So when I went to do this particular build and do the terrain paints and the terrain sculpting on Connor's farmhouse, I was actually watching YouTube videos to try and learn a little bit more about how the terrain paint tool works because I usually just keep it bang in the middle and I'm just like, yep, that looks good. That's good enough. But 
I learned that if you mix terrain paints, it looks like there's some depth to the ground. So you're gonna see that throughout with the terrain paints. And I think it turned out really, really nicely. I'm really happy with the effect that the terrain paint gives. And I really love how the terrain is sculpted and how the landscaping kind of flows along with the terrain in some of the more hilly areas. And what is this? Am I like praising landscaping for a moment? Because you guys know that landscaping makes me a little bit nervous but most of this video and this house is chock full of landscaping and I'm pretty proud of it and I don't know if you can see when the grid is off but you can see kind of in the horse area where we're at that there is a little bit of depth to the terrain like it looks like the horses may have run back and forth um, and stretching their legs getting some exercise and that's really what I wanted to portray while I was doing this and again I'm just gonna kiss my fingers because I'm very proud of how it looks, how it turned out. And I'm just a happy little bunny right now once I'm watching this footage back because it just tickles me pink. <sighs> there I go, patting my back again. I know I do this every single time. But as I always say, if I'm not happy with something when I'm building it or I'm watching the footage back, I won't release it to you guys because I really don't want to put things up or rush things out just for the sake of getting content out. So I'm extra proud of how this turns out. So you can see that we've got a gate into another horse area and I used this gate from Pets and it's really cute. I don't think I've ever used that particular gate and a lot of things that you're gonna find on this property are from Pets. So I used expansion packs, stuff packs and there is a tiny bit of store content but because it's not decorated on the inside it's not going to be a big deal if something on the outside is replaced you could probably find a like for like match in case you know ea when it replaces the store content it decides to put one of those hanging fishes because that happens sometimes like i've used a little bit of ivy um on an outdoor fireplace and when i did that before in another one of my builds it became that fish hanging paint thing. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's a fish sculpture and it turned, the ivy turned into that. And I was like, yeah, that's really a like for like match. GG EA. <laughs> so here we are in the horse barn and we've got two stalls and then off to the right, you can see the shower stall at the moment. And I just decorated it a little bit just to give it a little barn feel going on. There's a lot of hay that goes in here because hay is for horses. <laughs> And then I just did a little area with a radio and some knickknacks from pets just to make it look like it was a little bit lived in. So I was kind of conflicted when I was doing the decorating because my idea was that this was the Connors farmhouse, hence the name, so creative, and they were going to move in and they were going to put their own spin on everything and then I went ahead and I decorated the barn which makes no sense because if you're gonna buy a house is the barn already gonna be decorated probably not but in this case it is because the Sims is a fantasy world and you can do whatever the heck you want and I did whatever the heck I wanted so I really like this area that I'm decorating at the moment I think it's just really cute you've got the saddles there and then you've got sort of a sawhorse I think it's what it's called and some tools and then I'm gonna put a radio there in case you want to listen to a radio while you're brushing your horses I don't know it's just the little touches that I like to put into my builds and little details that make me happy so the radio wouldn't snap to the shelf and so I had to put in another side table but I think it works it's kind of like it was built like that it's like one unit coming together um, and that is the power of the move objects cheat I just love that cheat and I always build with that particular cheat on so just doing a little bit more recoloring in here and I think I did the shower room off camera I'm not sure I can't remember it has been so long since I have done this build but I'm so excited to get it out to you guys so here's a little playground for the kiddos and like I said at the moment Evelyn and Ryland have two baby girls and they are twins and I can remember when that episode happened and Girlmates Pixels was not expecting twins at all so she had two twins and she was like where am I going to put these baby girls because 
this house is so teeny tiny weeny um but now they've got this to look forward and forward to and there's all the space in the world did you guys just see me pull out the trampoline because i was going to try to put it in there there was definitely no room to put a trampoline in this playground so it's got two swing sets and um a sandbox and some of those spring riders and then this portion of the landscaping is probably my most favorite because this is where the hot tub sits above all of this rockery above all of these shrubs and again i've got my buckhorns in there went a little bit buck wild with the buckhorns but you know what do you expect i'm the plum dot i love buckhorns um but i love this little area and then i also put an easel out here in case ryland or um, Evelyn want to learn the painting skills or if the kids want to learn the painting skill they can come out here and they've got this beautiful space to do it and they can look out over to the barn they can look out over the pond that is here and just take in all of the beauty and I have to say my favorite most favorite part if I had to pick of the backyard is this two-tiered deck that we're going to come up and see in a moment and I just really like the effect of coming from the main deck down to the next portion and then you even go down further and you are in the playground so it's only two levels I think um, but I'll explain more once we get there I just think it looks really nice and it's a space where the entire family can just hang out and relax when the weather is nice but here's the little hot tub area and I'm not sure if I throw an easel on off camera or on camera but an easel does go here I think it is off camera that I put in the easel because I didn't know where to put it at this moment in time and then when I went back I was like yeah, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna put something else in there. And speaking of making changes, I did make a few changes off camera because what happened is I finished the build and I sent it to Girlmates Pixels and then I went back in to take more pictures because I only took a few pictures at first of the front of the house. And then when I went back to look at it, I looked at the barn and I was like, why did I make the barn that color? It is flipping atrocious it doesn't match anything I was trying to go for contrasting colors I think but it just didn't work out so you're gonna see in the screenshots that the barn is a different color than what it is now and I think it looks so so much better so yeah I just pulled out the easel and this is the bottom not the very bottom of the deck but it's the second portion of the deck and I just think it would be such a cool place to hang out with your family so we've got the barbecue area got plenty of seating and then I also decided to put in a dog bed I believe I think I had a dog bed at one point and then I went with a dog house and then I wanted a little backsplash for the barbecue area so that's what I'm doing right now working with CFE and I wanted it to go all the way around at first but then I was like no this doesn't look good and so I ended up making it just this one side that I'm working on now and I put the sink there so it's kind of like the sink has a little bit of a backsplash and I put lighting on top of the walling and I just think it looks pretty cool because the wall acts like a fence and so it works out and I'm just pleased as punch with this area right here and uh, da -da -da -da, I completely lost my train of thought does that ever happen to you guys when you guys are just talking you're grooving you're flowing and then you just go blur I have no idea what I was going to say I can't remember but I do like this little table and I like the distressed wood that I put on the table the little pattern and this right here with this um, hopscotch cord, I really wanted it to blend into the decking so it looked like the hop stop, hopscotch cord was sort of drawn on the decking. And I think it looks really nice. So yeah, I placed on a pet bed, but in the screenshots, you're going to notice that it is replaced by a dog house. Because if it's raining and your dog wants to be outside, I wanted them to be in a little shelter rather than on a pet bed. So we're almost finished with this portion of the deck and then we're going to go up to the next level and we are going to decorate that main level where I put in a fire place. I was going to put say a fire hose. I don't know what it is with me and my failure for words, but I am failing 
hardcore at the moment with what words to choose. I feel like sometimes my brain moves faster than my mouth can and so I'm thinking all these things and it's going through my head really really quickly and I'm trying to get the words out as my brain is is um, sending the signals to my mouth and I just trip over my words and it's just a big old mess and I just end up derping out. So yeah, if you guys can forgive me, I'll love you forever. So this is just a little seating area. It's just really a walkway. It's nothing really special but I did put some outdoor plant or some indoor planters outside because I didn't place an area specifically for a garden so I thought if anybody wanted a garden they could do it in those little planters that came with Supernatural I believe. So here's the fireplace that is an outdoor fireplace and I just made it a seating area. I did use these um I'm gonna call them ottomans they're not they're like they're not lounge chairs you guys know it's sectional there it is sectional I use these sectionals from Aurora Skies and they're my favorite sectionals I just think that with these particular ones the team really stepped up their game and they look really really detailed so I try to use them as much as possible in my builds because I really love how they look so almost finished with the fireplace and then we're just going to continue on doing the landscaping which that changes as well you'll notice in the screenshots because I did go a little bit overboard with the landscaping that was along the terrain and when I came back and looked at it I was like oh honey honey what have you done this does not look good especially in the front yard I had so many bushes so many trees and it was just sort of overpowering where it didn't need to be because I think the build speaks for itself um, so I rearranged things and changed things up a little bit and again you will notice those in the screenshots speaking of screenshots we're getting mighty close to them so I am going to wrap this up here love you and leave you guys with some music I will be leaving the links to to Girlmates Pixels YouTube, Twitch, and the playlist for Pets and Generations down below in the description. Guys, go and show her some love. And if you guys haven't started the Pets and Generations LP, now is the perfect time because Girlmates Pixel is living her best mommy life and is on a little bit of a hiatus, so you have plenty of time to get caught up. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to do all those cool interweb things like comment and subscribe. Make sure you've got that bell ding dong just so you can be notified whenever i do upload but for now i'm gonna skeet skeet skedaddle don't be a plum stranger now guys